friends a very warm welcome hope you are doing good i am back with my next anglo js tutorial is the tutorial number 8 in the last tutorial we learned about including html views inside anglo js application we also learned about implementing ajax in anglo js let's see what we learned this time we learned how to create single page application in angular js how to use ng view directive how to use ng template directive how to use dollar root provider service let's see uh, how to build single page application in angular js to create single page applications angular js has provided ng view and ng template directives Angular JS also provides dollar root provider service to help us build single page application. Now what's ng view directive in Angular JS? ng view directive is used to create a placeholder for view either html view or ng template view. Views can be placed using ng view directive based on the configuration. Now what's ng template directive in Angular JS? you can create an html view using ng template directive in the script tag dollar root provider service uses the id attribute of script tag to map the view with the controller dollar root provider service this service sets the configuration for urls it maps the urls with the views and attaches the controller with them Now let's look at the code we'll be using for it. Now friends, here's my JavaScript code. I have my application module defined here with the name hotel. Then I have mentioned the dependent module here ng root. In the earlier lessons, we had left this blank because we weren't dependent on any other module here we will need ng root module for routing the urls to the correct views and controllers then i have defined my controller with the name hotel room controller uh, you can see i have defined my model with the help of dollar scope service dollar scope dot hotel rooms hotel rooms is an array holding uh, some objects having properties a uh, room and hotel i'll be displaying this uh, uh, array inside a table uh, i can i have also included a function add room which would add uh, another row in the table and uh, also uh, an object to this array hotel rooms then i have defined a controller room prices uh, its name is room prices controller here too i have a uh, i have an array holding some objects having properties room and price then i have a function add room price which similarly adds a row to the table then here's the important code i have configured my uh urls to link them to specific views and controllers here dollar root provider service is key dollar root provider service allows me to map the urls with the views and controllers here uh, when method of dollar root provider service allows me to link this url as you can see angular hotel to the view hotel room dot htm now here template url is mapped to the id property of of the view here you can see i have my view and here it's the id property so whenever a user enters this url he would be directed to hotelroom.htm view and the controller that would be used 
is hotel room controller and then if the user directs to room price URL he would be directed to room price dot htm your view and the controller used would be room prices controller so this is how I configure my uh, application now let's look at the HTML code above uh, here here's where my application begins you can see uh, NGA directive uh, has been mentioned now I have some links here angular hotel whenever the user clicks this hyperlink he would be directed to this view now here you can see I have defined my view with the help of script tag which is of type ng template so it is important to mention ng template type for script in order to define our views in a single page application and it is also important to mention the ID for it because this ID will be used in the URL template property inside the configuration to render this view now inside the view I have to input controls then a button then the table that displays that array we defined in, in the JavaScript code here inside the controller yeah. so at one time one view would be displayed which depends on which hyperlink the u user clicks now here you can see, see I iterate over the hotel rooms array and display the values in the table cells similarly I have another view here which has been defined with the help of script tag of type ng template having id room price dot htm it too has two input controls and a button which would add a new row to the table and then a table which has some columns uh, serial number room type room price and then under it the values which come from the array I have also defined a div tag having ng view directive this is important it acts as a placeholder this is where my views would be rendered when the user clicks this hyperlink this hyperlink this view here this view would be rendered here and when he clicks this hyperlink then this view here this view will be rendered here so the previous view gets replaced by new view uh, whenever the user clicks another hyperlink now let's see how my application looks in browser so friends here you can see this is my application how it looks uh, having heading Ag angular js single page application it has two two hyperlinks view available rooms and room prices now when i click view available rooms you can see i uh, i have a view rendered here room type input type then hotel name input type then add room then I have a table displaying the array values the values of ob properties of objects inside the array now if I click this hyperlink you'll see that this view would be replaced 
with another view displaying the prices of hotel rooms let's see I click it and here you here you see uh, it's replaced with price view now if I click view available rooms again then again I have um, room view displayed so here so it's a single page application wherein at one time you get one view rendered on the same page so this is how simple it is to create single page application in AngularJS friends I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please subscribe like and comment to subscribe to my channel kindly click the red button below the video I will be back with my next AngularJS tutorial soon. Until then, practice more and enjoy. Thank you.